for that. The University of Kentucky is the only school left in the state in the NCAA men's tournament. We'll have their highlights against Wofford in a moment, but first, Murray State fell to Florida State earlier tonight. Robert Bradfield is here with more on the racer support, which is felt right here beyond uh, their fans in Western Kentucky. Robert, what can you tell us? Yeah, believe it or not, Murray State has a pretty large fan base here in Kentucky. And in fact, all season long, Saints Pizza and Pub in St. Matthews has played host to watch parties, and it was no different tonight. <laughs> These Murray State Racers fans and alumni may be about 850 miles away from where their team played in Hartford, Connecticut. But their passion is just as big as the fight the racers gave Florida State. It's amazing. Uh, I love the support of the, Mur of the Murray community, the Murray fans. Saints Pizza and Pub in St. Matthews has been a second home for these fans. The restaurant hosting watch parties throughout the year and this one extra sweet. A trip to the Sweet 16 was on the line. Real that they've gone this far. Holly Brockman Johnson is a believer in her team despite the loss. I think there's some magic in this team. Like even Magic Johnson came to the game, the OBC tournament. And I think anything can happen in March. Anything can happen in March. Alumni volunteer Scott Grant helped organize this watch party and says the game against Florida State was one of the biggest in the team's history. Murray State's undergraduate enrollment is about 8,600, and Grant says there are about 1,000 Murray State alumni in Kentuckiana. While much of this part of the state bleeds cardinal red or UK blue, Grant says in the western part of the state, navy blue and gold reign supreme. UK and U of L are not uh, are not nearly the things they are everywhere else in the state. Um, our number one team has always been the racers, and we plan on uh, keeping it that way. Shots fired, huh? Well, Murray State ends their season at 28 and 5. They did advance farther in the tournament this year than last year, losing in the first round to West Virginia. Meanwhile, Florida State advances to play Gonzaga next Thursday. Robert Bradfield, 11 at 11.